Hi right, guys, back out again, back in Vicarage Farm and back to the little slope field. That was nice, that uh, half crown we got out here last time and the nice crotal bell, ring-a-ding. I apologise again for the wind noise, but as usual here, it's always windy. Because we're on a big ridge, um, the wind just comes straight up from this. It's actually coming from the, uh, the southwest today. It's uh, 20 degrees warmer uh, than it was last week. This was uh, about a foot of snow on here, so... Be a bit slutchy and muddy, but we're out here with the dais again. It's a bit of scouting hunt. Got about four or five hours again on this hunt. Hopefully the rain stays away. It's forecast for later on this afternoon. So let's get muddy. Well, guys, first signal. Looks like we got a coin. Just saw it on the other side of the, the clump there. Looks like a one p. Or is it? Oh, it looks like a foreign coin. I wonder where that's got here. We'll uh, get that a little clean up for later on, but we're off and running. First find in the bag. Looks like we've got another one of those 38s from a pistol, probably from Second World War, possibly. I couldn't really identify these last time. Well guys, you've got a banging signal, I've got a surface fine, looks like a barrel tap key, or a panel, oh it's a panel key. Yeah. It's one of those double winged ones. Yeah, it's not that old really. Here he is, my mate coming to buzz me. He's just going over the top pretty high today. But yeah, probably do a few more circuits over the top. Hi right, guys, well, it's proven hard work at half time and the clay is really sticking to my boots. Have you seen the, the picture of the boots at the start of the video? But there's uh, nothing in there. Strange. Said so we've uh, moved up the slope a little bit and the clay's getting heavier, but the fine's just non existent with that first signal, the first coin, but a few buttons since, and a couple of bullets, and that's been it. So I'll have a little sit down, clean my boots off, have a cup of coffee. And then we'll try down the bottom end where we've got that George the third half crowd, see if there's any more down there, but it's not going to be a good one today, I don't think. Looks like we've got a modern 2p in there, a 10p. You see how claggy clay this is. Yeah, it's a 10p. Second coin of the, the day, and I'm getting just modern stuff. And just for Neil, there's the impression. What? Not very good, but we'll persevere. We've got another few hours yet. Well, okay, guys, got a big banging signal there. I don't know what this is. Well, it's uh, not a tin can or anything. Looks like a car badge of some sort, or something like maybe of a a combine or something. Yeah, it's different. Yeah, got a big sheaf of wheat on it there's a few more decoration down here with a big cog on it there's always a bit of a agricultural machinery that's uh, the only interesting thing i've had this afternoon there's a uh, farmer will definitely be interested in that see where it's come off well we've got another coin looks like a georgia second halfpenny i don't normally get georgia second on here but i said heading down where we've got that georgia third half crown down in this bottom corner next to where the water is, so maybe people will be coming down here picnicking or something, so hopefully it'll pick up a little bit now. Ah, he's back again to buzz me, up that beautiful blue sky. Ah, it's just keeping ticking over now, I've got a Georgia third happening now. Uh, there's uh, very, very few finds at this part of this field. Um, I said, oh, well, they got all the junk last time, filled the whole carry bag full of it, it was all in the middle of the field. I'm just on the bottom corner at the moment, and a few bits and pieces coming out, but no lead. Uh, I always think when there's no lead around, it's uh, NFG, and I think it could be end up designated NFG. Well, you can just see Georgie's little head there. So, uh, let's carry on, got another hour to go. Well, guys, we're coming to the end of a, another hunt in the little slope field, but I think we're going to call this NFG. I've uh, just got this signal here, 
my back's going because I've been digging all this rubbish. Looks like we've got another horse brass of some sort. Uh, even worse than that, just a bit of another bit of crap. Well, that's it. I've just got to go about 50, 60 yards now across this last run, and that's me done for this field. I think we'll be going back to our favourite other fields, top of the world field and valley field and the old mound field in the future. Uh, I'll try these other ones, but alas, NFG. So if you don't find anything, to catch up with you guys at the review. Hi guys, welcome to the review. God, that was hard work. I felt like I had ten pound weights on each foot with all that mud that's in the uh, in the field. That's really sticky clay uh, in that field, and it's uh, not very nice to hunt in either. But I think it's going to be called NFG field that one. Uh, I'm not convinced about it. When you see it's all aluminium and modern dross, it's in there. Like I said, I just found out that the uh, one of the farm workers tell me it was used as middens uh, quite a while ago, and this is why all this stuff is in here. It's even got a Looks like a cooking pot handle. <laughs> so, that very little lead, and that's always a, a sign I look for. If there's not much leather in the area, I tend to move on because that's lead showing the, the occupation in the area. And you can see that from the finds. I've got four little old buttons, a couple of 38 bullets, old tatty thimble, panel key, four coins, nothing's fantastic about them. And this uh, only interesting find is the Wheat sheaf with the, the big cog on the vehicle badge. I don't know what that's off. It could be a combine, could be a tractor. I'll uh, see if I can track down uh, just to see which manufacturer that is. Never seen one of those before, so new one on me. So, very short review, really. I'm um, a bit disappointing. I was hoping that field was going to produce something that looked ideally placed, but not to be. So, I think we'll move on to the, the other fields. Uh, on the estate, I've still got plenty to go out, there's 3,000 acres there. I've been searching there for just over two years now, and I've not been in probably a quarter of them, if that, just for a quick scouting hunt. So, we'll do a few more scouting hunts, but I'll probably go back to the mound field to try and get my sanity back again. <laughs> so, it's your pal Mal, little short review. Thank you to all my new subscribers, thank you for all your comments, it's very much appreciated. So, I'll catch up with you on the next one. Uh, didn't get down to Bournemouth, there's the, the weather just changed on us, so or we'll be going for the, the big tides at the end of the year. So it's your pal Mal, happy ending to you all, little short review, catch you on the next one. Cheers guys.